welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays I'm exploring the FS Labs Airbus A321neo and in this regard this is the first video in which I will show you how to configure the Thrustmaster TCA quadrant for this plane. So uh, let's first of all go to the control settings over here and let's select this option quadrant throttle. Now you will see the default settings general controls and airplane controls. You can make a copy of it either of it uh, but I usually make the copy of the airplane controls. So let's uh, duplicate this setting and let's uh, rename this profile FS Labs A321neo. Now over here in the filters just click assign and just type throttle over here. Now for the throttle, just remember the throttle 1 axis 0 to 100% and throttle 2 axis 0 to 100%. They have to be removed. So you can just go over here and uncheck it. That's it. And uh, let's uncheck this one also. So let me just change the filters again. And let's go to assigned. And now you can see there is nothing over here. That's it. Now it's clear. Now over here, again, uh, just uh, maybe you can use no filters or you can use the essential filters. I'll use this option, none. Now I will again search for throttle. Now over here, I will see different options for the throttles. So this is throttle 1 axis and this is throttle 2 axis. You just have to assign the throttle to these two axes. So for throttle one axis, let's go over here and you will see this option joystick L axis X. So this is the one you have to select. So just check this. Now just remember this thing that set inverted axis should be off and in the hardware setting everything is zero. So it's just like this. Let's go back and now for the throttle two axis, just select joystick L axis Y. And the same thing, set inverted X is off and hardware settings, everything is zero. That's it. Now go back and uh, filters assigned, just check that for throttle, throttle one X is joystick LX is X and throttle two X is joystick LX is Y. So after the controller settings, you have to go to the MCDU in order to configure the thrust levers. You must have observed that there is a, some change in the plane because uh, I had to restart the simulator. This thing happens with this plane. It's actually not a one-go configuration. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, when I was recording it before, I was trying to uh, set the thrust levers and I was not getting the right setting. So I had to set it to default and then just come back again and do it again for this video. But it's a pro tip that if it doesn't work, then you have to set everything to defaults. So uh, instead of a single lever axis, you have to select two lever axis and no reverse zone on lever. You have to set it to yes, because you have to have the thrust levers on the controllers. Now it's working. Anyhow, I've configured it, but I've set it to default. I'll just show it to you. Just go to detent zones. And this is what I was telling you, that if it doesn't work for you, then you have to again set it to defaults and you have to restart the simulator. Uh, it never works with me the first time. I always have to do it the second time after restarting. So just remember you have to do this step. Now first of all, set your thrust levers to maximum reverse. In this position, the physical uh, thrust levers, just set them to this position and press this button, the third left soft key. And uh, then move your thrust levers to this position, which is reverse idle, just right before the idle position. So just move the thrust levers over there. Just like this. And uh, I think again, I'm going to have some problem. Actually, my, let me just do it again. They're a bit old. So I'm having some issues also. And let me just keep it here. Forward idle. And now to climb. Flex 
and then toga. And now it's working. You can see now the thrust levers are working perfectly all right. So just remember that if you do this configuration and if it doesn't work, you have to set it to defaults, then go back, set this to defaults, restart the simulator and uh, just try it again and it will work. So I just wanted to keep this video really short and simple and crisp so that now you can just configure your controllers and enjoy flights with this plane. Although nowadays I'm doing lots of flights with this plane because after Phoenix simulations, Airbus A321, 20 and 319, this is another good option in the Microsoft flight simulator. So I'm just enjoying the flights with it. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.